good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, thank you so much for investing your time with us today. My name is uh, Emilia Mayo, and I'm the product marketing manager for the cost management solution at Siemens. I'm going uh, to do a short interview with Michael Hedrich, our product uh, manager for Team Center Product Cost Management at Siemens and um, discuss with him the big trends in the automotive industry uh, we need to keep our eyes on and uh, how these trends uh, could directly impact the business. Um, also, uh, we are going to discuss how uh, the Siemens solution is addressing these trends. And further, we have with us today, Tony Bergstrom. He is the founder and partner of ET Advisory. And um, ET Advisory is uh, one of our smart expert partners for cost management at Siemens. Okay, so uh, what is our goal today? Uh, our goal is um, that stakeholders involved in managing costs in the automotive industry, like cost engineers, finance, procurement, will come away with something um, like a new idea, a fresh perspective, or, or, or a new strategy uh, that they can apply to be more successful in their, in their business. So at the beginning of the interview, uh, we will take a few moments to do a brief introduction so the participants can introduce their, uh, themselves and uh, tell us a little bit about their background in the industry. Then I will uh, kick off the conversation uh, addressing questions that uh, draw out uh, some of the high level teams and trends. Uh, yeah, we should think about. So, um, yeah, I will start uh, with uh, Tony. As I mentioned, we have Tony Bergstrom. Um, Tony, uh, thank you very much to have you with us today. Um, and can you please tell us a few words about you, about ET Advisory, and how ET Advisory supports the automotive industry? Yes, I can do. Thank you, Emilia. Uh, after being part of uh, Siemens for over 17 years, I decided to start my own company, ET Advisory. Uh, and we became um, a partner to Siemens uh, directly for the team center cost management portfolio. And uh, since 2016, we have drived and developed that business uh, in Nordic. Uh, in 2017, Siemens awarded us and our work to be smart expert partner for uh, the Siemens uh, team center cost management portfolio in the Nordic. So together with Siemens, we drive and, and develop this business uh, and we have been very successful to do that uh, the, the last year, despite of this COVID-19. Today we have customers in, in, in almost every industry and, but the majority of them comes from the automotive and transportation industry. Today, we serve customers like Volvo Cars, AB Volvo, and uh, a couple of the tier one companies here in, in Nordic. Um, other big customer that we also work with in terms of services and, and uh, selling the software is Elect Electrolux. And, uh, and we also have another, some other customers in other industries. So um, I'm very pleased to be joining this into, uh, discussion today. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, Michael, please introduce yourself to, to our audience. Okay, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Emilio. Um, I'm Michael. Michael Hedrich, uh, I, I'm working with product cost management uh, team in, in Göppingen, which is in Germany for over 10 years now. During that time, I contributed to our product cost management business through my success in a variety of roles, which includes pre-sales, service, product owner, development manager, and most recently um, 
as mentioned, the product manager for GCPC and product cost management. Prior to joining Siemens, I worked in the automotive tool and dye industry um, yeah, around the world. Thank you very much, Michael. So, Michael, you are the product manager for Team Center Product Cost Management. Uh, maybe for those who are not aware about the Siemens costing solution, can you please describe in a few words what the solution is and maybe add a little bit background on the history of the solution? Sure, um, no problem. So by acquiring perfect costing solutions in 2012, um, Siemens added a key ingredient to the PLM portfolio to help customers make more informed decisions about their products, beginning in an early stage of design and extending across the life cycle. This acquisition demonstrates how Siemens continued to execute the strategy of building the leading position in um, industry software supporting the discrete manufacturing and automotive industry. Or let's say it in different or other words, Teams on the Product Cost Management supports the cost and value engineering approach at an early stage of the development process by providing cost transparency for products and tools. That means that at least this enables a quantifiable decision base for cost optimized products. With the integrated profitability calculation, you can secure product investments by predicting future product costs and prices over the entire product life cycle. Mm -hmm. Great, Michael. So um, moving forward, um, as, as we all know, um, today companies uh, embracing digitalization i would say will survive the present and yeah win the future and uh, cost management is crucial for for a company's digitalization strategy so uh, the question is um, how is siemens supporting their customers in in realizing this strategy i mean from a cost management perspective um, yeah, I think, Michael, this is a good question for you. <laughs> yes, uh, that's a very good question. Um, so the Teams and the Product Cost Management software supports the digital twin of cost. With that, Siemens supports our customers from the first product idea to the start of production and beyond. With the digital twin product, digital twin production and the digital twin costs, as you can see on the slide. So let's focus on the digital twin for costs. In product cost management, you start with the product bomb where you add manufacturing steps with machines, materials, and labors, for example. These can be multiplied by, um, yeah, with the cost rates from the provided database. So or we, we so, um, provide reference data, let's say in that way which contains factor costs from several countries, machine records and material records. So by that, um, or this enables our customers to determine to an accuracy of between two and 5% um, what the new product will cost to manufacture while it's still in the design phase. Based on these cost simulations, our customers can identify improvements in product design and manufacturing, for example. We also support creating digital twins of costs for outsourced components. So that means our solution provides transparency on, on suppliers' manufacturing processes and costs that helps customers to improve their um, argumentation during price negotiations, for example. At the same time, they can collaborate closely with, uh, yeah, with them to optimize their processes and costs. So it's in this way, both sides benefits. I hope I have answered your question. Mm -hmm. Great, Michael, sure. Um, so another important aspect is um, to meet the 2050 uh, Paris Agreement's uh, global warming cap. Uh, so emissions must be hived every 10 year 
um, until 2050. So the question is, how can companies advance their carbon reduction goals while operating profitably? Um, yeah, great question. Uh, so there are many avenues for pursuing sustainable strategies, but the most powerful one is embedding sustainability in the product design, which uh, uh, determines an estimated 80% of the future carbon footprint. Until now, such an approach working with CO2 life cycle assessments and uh, should costing estimates was cumbersome, I would say. That's why we have decided to extend our product cost management software with uh, carbon footprint calculator. The outstanding thing is that the carbon footprint calculator is not separated from the cost calculation. So when our customers simulating their costs, they can automatically simulate the carbon footprint for their products, uh, which is, I would say, today outstanding. It's also possible to simulate the carbon footprint on existing cost calculations. So existing customers uh, could also yeah, analyze uh, parts they have just calculated lately. So with our new PCM release, we support not only transparency on economical factors uh, with a digital twin of cost, but also transparency on environmental factors with the new digital twin carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you, Michael. So I'm 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 pretty sure um, this topic will be on our agenda for for some time. So, um, Michael. Having all these trends and implications in mind and uh, the challenges our customers have to deal with, can you please tell us what is the product vision going forward uh, for the Siemens costing solution? Absolutely, that's uh, my favorite question. So um, <laughs> our vision is based on, on four pillars. So the first pillar is uh, ease of use. Our goal is to provide the best in class user experience um, by reusing Siemens technologies. The focus is to achieve the same look and feel for Siemens products along with a good usability and high customizability. So the second pillar is to improve the calculation efficiency. We are focusing on more automation to increase calculation speed by invest investing in, um, yeah, let's say in four areas. So one is the parametric models, uh, the efficiency to reuse of existing data, and uh, the last thing is the predictive costing. So let's talk about uh, um, parametric cost models. So. Um, we can in incorporate parametric cost models into teams in the product cost management to automate um, repetitive calculations um, whereby we keep the detailed bottom-up structure as output. That helps not only to increase the calculation speed, it helps also to share expert knowledge within the company. The next thing is to prevent our users to create rather than calculations, which could also be very cumbersome, we will leverage AI to reuse historical team center product cost management and ERP data. Um, and the last thing is um, yeah, to accelerate handling large part portfolios, we added to the top down non ah, sorry, we added the top down nonlinear linear performance pricing, uh, how we name or which is named NLPP. Uh, method to our costing software solution. In contrast to bottom-up calculations, we focus on highly precise analysis of individual parts. The NLPP method developed by the Swiss company Sophia in AG examines part families as a whole. So that now, or yeah, say it in, in other words, NLPP predicts costs and prices of or can predict costs and prices of any part, machine, or tool. Um, the method uses part properties, quantities, and prices of existing parts to determine 
um, valid and precise target price formulas automatically. And that's the good thing with the December release, we can reuse these target price formulas in TC PCM to predict costs. Mm -hmm. Our third pillar is to reach more users. Um, we will support more business groups by expanding in new domains in the next years. Um, so we start here also with our December release where we released the new extended lifetime calculation to support multi-year calculations. But we have also the plan in addition to um, invest in areas like plant engineering, cloud for small and medium enterprises, uh, portfolio management and more. And then there is the fourth pillar, um, uh, integration. <laughs> It is important for our customers to be able to tightly integrate uh, Teams and the product cost management with their PLM and ERP system. For that, we have extended our next generation integration portfolio by two new products, the product cost management for Teams and the gateway and the product cost management for enterprise application gateways. We have also added a new RESTful API economy to support sophisticated integrations and uh, customizations. Yeah, and for the future, we plan to extend integration capabilities to the PLM and ERP systems, um, also to BI using Mendix or any other system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Michael, thanks. Uh, so these are a lot of great insights on the product development. Um, so, um, Michael, we, we experience uh, that the Siemens costing solution is more and more um, a mainstream solution for the automotive industry, um, which I think will have the biggest growth uh, the coming years. So the question is, um, is team center product cost management relevant only for the automotive industry? Yeah, I think that's an important question. Um, our, costing uh, our, our costing solution supports cost engineers and purchasers in a large amount of automotive companies. Since cost engineering is a long established practice in industry that deal with big complex projects. In the automotive and advanced industrial sectors, uh, for example, companies recognize for decades that the need to take a whole life cycle perspective, balancing the costs of procurement, manufacturing and assembly. But, and that's, and that is a good but, <laughs> Our solution isn't relevant just for automotive companies. Um, across industries, complexity and cost pressure are giving companies good reasons to follow a more disciplined approach to finding savings. So we support companies across industry like automotive, heavy equipment, industrial machinery, electronics, medical devices and customer products. So. I cannot predict which industry will have the biggest growth in the coming years, but I can say that TCPCM is not only for the automotive industry, it can be used in many industries. Yeah, th thanks, Michael. I think this is uh, pretty relevant for our audience. So, uh, Michael and Tony, um, I have a question for you both. Um, can you please uh, tell us from, from your experience why is the channel partner strategy so important for Siemens? And I would say uh, for our discussion today, especially for the Siemens costing solution. Michael? Yeah, um, I always wondering when you ask that question. So we, we seek for long-term relationship with uh, strong partners worldwide. Uh, IT advisory as our partner in Nordics is a perfect example of smart expert partner. Together with, we deliver world-class services and benefits to our customers. But I think Tony can give you some more insights on that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michael. Yes, uh, uh, the CEO of Siemens Digital Industry Software, Mr. Hemelgarn, is 
is saying one plus one is three, and uh, I agree with that. <laughs> this uh, partner strategy Siemens has is uh, a win-win for the customer Siemens and the partner, and also how we as a partner can evaluate on, on Siemens ecosystem for many different industries in, in our region in, in Nordic. Um, but also how we as a partner in their in the partner ecosystem also can help each other uh, to uh, make sure that all customers uh, have a win on using the softwares and the services coming from Siemens digital industry. Uh, today's customer demand business product and industry competence and uh, for a, a domain like uh, product cost management, uh, the IT advisor have uh, the domain skills and the resources that uh, Siemens and Nordic doesn't have today. So that's for we can both drive and develop the PCM business in Nordic to bring value to both Siemens and, and the customers here in Nordic. Mm -hmm. I think uh, as is to summarize this, the Siemens group to market is uh, really good for for everyone for sure for sure tony um thank you thank you both um michael i have a last question for for you for today um michael w what are the main benefits for the team center product cost management customers okay so let's summarize um, the main benefits of team center product cost management I think one of our biggest benefits is that we work close together with our customers and partners to provide best in class solutions. Then using an integrated cost calculation approach can move organizations forward from a best gas calculation to a methodical and fact-based result that is built on transparency and flexibility. Our solution allows our customers to capture potential saving, savings between 16 and 20% rapidly and make cost engineering an integral and, and sustainable um, yeah, part of, of their business. Mm -hmm. due, to the, due to the standardized interfaces, customers can reduce 50% of their processing time, like, for example, in quotation preparation. Finally speaking, um, TCPCM is not only a cost calculation software, I would say, but it also provides uh, a platform for collaboration of all relevant business functions like product cost and tool cost engineering, the purchase department, manufacturing engineers, the internal controlling and the sales organization. I think that can also be seen by our customers feedback. Yeah, I will say that there are a lot of good benefits by using Team Center product cost management. One is what you said, it, it gives the, uh, the company's uh, cost management platform for orchestrate all the costs um, around the product. Uh, you can see it from two different angles. Uh, if you are an OEM where you do a lot of buying, um, and uh, products uh, or have a lot of suppliers uh, in your ecosystem. This gives you a very good tool to make sure that you pr pay the right price for, for uh, this uh, buying product. But also for the internal costing process, how, how this platform has showed how, how efficient it could be going from uh, four weeks to answer an RFQ process down to hours. Uh, that, that, that's a huge benefit for, for most companies. And I would say all companies. But also to make sure that take full control of the total cost of ownership. That is very important for every, every industry and every company today, especially with the, the times we are in today where Every company is now is more and more or less looking for the best cost countries, and with this um, platform, 
the the benefits and, and the chance to reduce cost is uh, heavily much better than the rest on on the piece of software in the market. That's how I would like to summarize it. So um, yeah, I'm pleased to be a partner for Siemens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, thank you, Michael and uh, Tony. It was really a pleasure to talk with you today. Thank you very much for your time and uh, sharing your experience. Um, I think um, your valuable insights um, are perfect for people who are interested in cost management and uh, for sure uh, on how to leverage today challenges in the automotive industry. So, dear audience, uh, for the additional information about our costing solution, please visit our website. There you can find information and contacts. Uh, so, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you very much for your attention and stay healthy. Thank you, Emilia. Thank you, Tony. Thank you.